Okay, in this tutorial we are going to be talking more about color theory. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, make sure to check it out. I'm gonna leave it the link in the description below about still photography and basically color theory in general. And in this video we are going to be applying all this technique to the actual footage and basically see where it's gonna take us. Now, obviously, you guys need to remember one thing. When you do any kind of color theory related stuff, if you want to shoot correctly, you're supposed to do all this kind of stuff in camera. Color grading simply amplifies the effect and basically lets you wiggle a little bit. Don't think that if you know color grading, all of a sudden is the magic escape and everything going to be easy because... If you're not shooting material right in camera, it's going to be a complete nightmare to color grade, especially if material is being shot with cheap cameras like DSLRs, Nikons, Canons, Sony, and pretty much all other junk that shoots 8-bit. Anyways, let's get started. So, the first note I'm going to create, by the way, this is a Panasonic EVA. The first note I'm going to create is going to be the balance. So let me move this thing right over here really quick. Um, like that so you guys can see basically just in general. Alright, so as far as the balance, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, let's do shadows pretty low. Um, something like that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna call this one exposure okay like this looks decent and second one going to be white balance okay and by the way in this tutorial the order of notes does not matter I'm simply showing the technique how do you work around it okay so let's get the dropper okay so basically now we have pretty well balanced shot so let's compare everything really quick before and after okay that looks great now i'm probably going to do another note just for the sake of it i'm sure youtube going to <clears throat> kill all kinds of colors over here and basically in this one let's just increase saturation a little bit um let's go in a full screen really quick and basically see how it looks Okay, so it looks great, again, before and after. Okay, looks decent. Let me combine all this, compound node. All right, that doesn't matter now. So creating another one, again, parallel, and basically let's start applying color theory. This one I'm gonna call shorts. This one I'm going to call ball. I don't know what's a proper name for a weight ball, whatever. All right, so shorts. Um, they kind of bluish, and it's not gonna work if we wanna do a nice kind of color theory um, color template. So there's a few ways to change it. One of the easiest ways to go hue versus hue and basically select sort of a neutral um, tonality of it and if we're gonna go up, we I actually can see that the short colors start changing. So we sort of have a little bit kind of teal right now. So that looks great. Let's check it out before and after. We see that we already start getting into that ballpark. Now things are a little bit more difficult with the ball because it's red and basically it's gonna be the same color as our skin. So what can we do? Um, in order to work around it, we can actually do a basic mask around the ball. Okay, just like this. Let's shrink it. Okay, let's take a look really quick what we're dealing here with. Okay, something like that is fine. Again, this is just for the sake of tutorial. Let's track it a little bit. And by the way, since we don't have any kind of perspective, rotation and zoom, Uncheck that because you really don't want to jam extra data that you really don't have because it's not um, going to benefit actual track in any way. 
keep that in mind. Actually, it may make it worse. So don't try to track things that you don't have. Anyways, here's the ball. And basically now I'm going to select um, kind of like red color again. And basically we can see what we can do with it. Okay, like that looks good. Let's do hue versus saturation. And let's make it more saturated, I guess. That way we can see. And obviously always be careful with the colors like orange, blue, yellow, and green because they are very similar to the colors of human skin. So if you don't want to have problems in the future when you color grade, especially feature film, because this is only one video, I'm sort of playing around with it. But if you have a very long project and you need to constantly be changing things, that's going to turn into a nightmare pretty quickly. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's do a little noise reduction because the video is extremely noisy and let me go again to full screen and basically do before and after so we kind of can see how we start getting into little color theory colors so basically we have a little bit teal and a little bit orange which i probably can fix a little bit more let's see like that we can actually see over here the compression and the kind of nightmare I'm talking about whenever you're not shooting correct color in camera. So remember that it's very important. Um, color grading is not a magic solution to all your problems. It's just there to kind of enhance it. So don't make that mistake because if you're doing actual project, it can cost you um, a lot of money hiring a colorist and paying basically extra money for this kind of stuff okay again so something like that we can also do a um, hue over here and we can move around hue and basically dial the color we're looking for through the hue there is a few ways there's no such thing as like a right correct way all right so basically this is it we we have our color going on and now, if we create node, we can basically <clears throat> start dialing the look. Let's see. Let's, uh, I don't know, move a little bit. Shadows forward. And let's probably increase highlights a little bit. Make it a little bit greener. Okay, really quick. Before and after. That looks great. And the final note, I probably want to do more contrast. Okay, and there we have it. Let me do full screen and let play back really well. All right, that looks good. Again, let's check out before and after on the shot. Basically everything we created, even though it's a very little bit of adjustment actually, you don't have to make too much, you know, crazy colors in order to basically say that, hey, you know, you're a colorist, you color graded something. It's all about the minute adjustments that actually gonna make footage looks good in the very end result. So here we have it, it looks pretty well. I probably should have used a neat video on this kind of footage because even though DaVinci Resolve built-in noise reduction is pretty decent, it still doesn't stand a chance against neat video. So there we have it. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the following video.